Hey, I'm Melissa. Jesus was crucified and died on a Friday over 2,000 years ago. Strangely enough, we call that day Good Friday. Today, let's talk about Good Friday and what's so good about it. Good Friday is the day when Jesus was crucified on the cross. He was betrayed by a close friend. He was innocent of the crimes authorities accused him of. He suffered physically, experiencing torture, and endured the cruelest ridicule. His clothes were bartered right in front of him. He gave up his spirit after hours of hanging by nails through his hands and feet. If Good Friday is the day Jesus was tortured and died, it seems a little wrong to call it good, doesn't it? Well, Jesus' death wasn't just a tragic end to the life of a man who taught people to love God and each other. What makes Good Friday good is the reason why Jesus died. Jesus' death was an act of sacrifice. It was a deliberate act of love. He willingly laid down his life to atone for the sins of humanity. Each one of us has sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Our sin separates us from God's holiness, yet God loves us so much that he made a way to forgive our sin. Jesus' death on the cross was the ultimate sacrifice that paid the penalty for our sins. He took upon himself the punishment that we rightfully deserve. 1 John 2.2 says that Jesus is the one who made us acceptable to God, despite our sins and the sins of the whole world. Romans 8.1-2 tells us that we're no longer condemned by our own sin, but that the law of the spirit of life has set us free in Christ from the law of sin and death. Jesus provided a way for us to be reconciled with God and receive forgiveness and salvation from the punishment for our sins. And that is incredibly good news. But the story doesn't end on that Friday. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead, conquering sin and death once and for all. That's the day we call Resurrection Sunday, or Easter. So, Good Friday isn't just about Jesus dying. It's about his victory over sin and death which offers us the hope of eternal life, and life right now for that matter, in the presence of God's goodness. When we acknowledge Good Friday, we're remembering the immense love and sacrifice Jesus demonstrated for each one of us. So let's strive to live each day in gratitude for God's amazing grace. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and maybe share it too, so others can learn what's so good about Good Friday.